guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have my big birthday unboxing for you guys. So I'm very excited to be filming this video. The day that this is posted will be the day after my birthday. I do actually have some plans this year, nothing too exciting because we are still in partial lockdown in the UK. But I will be seeing my best friend for the first time in I think around six months. But it will be nice to actually do something and see my best friend after so long. But before we get started with this unboxing, I would just like to say a huge thank you to you guys for all of these wonderful things that you have sent me. I'm honestly just overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed that you guys appreciate my content enough to even think of me. This is not anything that I ever expect but I'm so so thankful to anybody who has thought of me and chosen to send me a gift. And Hamilton is currently climbing on the stack of boxes in front of me. I really want to let you guys know that I am very grateful and appreciative for you guys and this community. I've spoken about it quite frequently how much this community has helped help me out in times when I have been struggling and I hope that my videos can do that for you even if it is just like 15, 20, 30 minutes of distraction a few times a week. So <laughs> so excited. Before we get started I just want to give a few honourable mentions. The first one is for the wonderful Linda who sent me a little tub of milk chocolate cinnamon hazelnuts and told me to open them immediately which I did do and I've nearly finished them but thank you so much. The second one Hamilton is lying on but a huge thank you to the wonderful Jamie who was drunk one night and sent me two bars of crispy M&M chocolate. I have already eaten one of them because he said it's not for your birthday, it's just to eat. But once again, a huge thank you to Jamie for that. This is like my favourite chocolate, in case any of you guys were wondering. I may tack on an extra bit to this video at the end as well, if anything comes in before my birthday. Because of my week off, I am pre-filming this a few days in advance. And I know that I have a box of Icelandic chocolates from the wonderful Ashlaug coming all the way from Iceland, which I'm so, so excited for. So thank you so much to Ashlaug for that. Also, I hope I'm not butchering your name. I watched like 10 videos on how to pronounce it and I think I have it right but I'm not sure. Please do let me know and I'm sorry if I did butcher it. And there's a couple of other people who have reached out to me and said that something is on its way as well. Some things may be in here, some things may not but the last time I filmed one of these things it was quite a lengthy video so if you guys want to go grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, we're gonna crack on with these parcels. So I have a stack in front of me. I also have quite a large one here that I'm saving until last. There is also a stack behind me which has another pretty big one at the bottom which I will also be saving till last. But yeah aside from that let's just get stuck into it. Just got an empty cool beauty box to put all of the little ends of cardboard in because otherwise they're gonna end up everywhere. But first up we have Oh, Crave by Tracy Wolf. I have heard, oops, I've heard amazing and terrible things about this. So I'm really excited to read it. This one is from Lamia, who is one of my patrons. A lot of these are going to be from my patrons as well. Thank you so much to you guys, just on so many levels, for all of the things you do. Just generally being so supportive in the Discord, choosing to support my channel through Patreon as well. And then all of this, you definitely 100% did not need to do. But this one is from Lamia. Thank you so much. And once again, I hope I'm not butchering your name but it says happy birthday Becca I hope you enjoy this book and have an amazing birthday I'm happy to be a part of your patreon family on discord thank you so much so this one is a fantasy romance it's quite chunky how big is it 571 pages it looks a lot like Twilight so I think it's a vampire romance and I've heard people be obsessed with this and also hate it but I don't actually know that much about what it's about I just need I need to read this book okay so this is 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 it young adult? Is it new adult? It follows a girl called Grace who is the lone mortal in an elite school for witches, shapeshifters and vampires and a few days after she arrives she is viciously attacked and it says caught between warring factions her life on the line. Grace doesn't have long to decide who she can trust, who she can love and who she most definitely can't. So I'm very intrigued. Please let me know if you've read this because I've heard very mixed reviews and thank you so much to Lamia for sending me this one. Next up! Oh, we have 
two in this one. So let me get the notes out first. These ones are from Bex. It says, happy birthday. Thank you for everything and being an amazing person to chat to on Discord and for bringing us all together. I hope you end up loving this even though it's out of your comfort zone from Bex. Thank you so much. I love my little um, Patreon family. Honestly, we have great times in the Discord chat. So the first one is Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which is actually on my May Book Copley TBR. It is the book that my patrons actually voted on for me to read for me. And this one is a adult contemporary romance that follows a chronically ill woman who makes a list of things that she would like to do to help her like get a life. And to help her do that, she enlists the help of like this tattooed muscular handyman. And I'm guessing it's a romance between those two. Now, I always describe these as like illustrated romances just because of the covers if a romance has a bright illustrated cover like this i automatically just assume it's not for me like it's not a romance i want to read but after reading red white and royal blue i'm trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone with that because i did really enjoy red white and royal blue and this has come highly recommended and steph from staff loves keeps telling me that i'll actually really enjoy this so thank you bex for this one and the other gift note says i hope you have an amazing day thank you for everything that you do i hope you love this volume as much as the rest and this is oh it's one of the Buffy comics which one's this one this one is volume three from beneath you I recently started the Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic reboot which if you guys don't know I'm a massive fan of Buffy but I'm also very sensitive to Buffy type things because Buffy means so much to me I've been watching it since I was like four years old and through my teenage years I used to watch two episodes every single night and then when I got to the end I just start again at the beginning so I was concerned about the Buffy reboot because it is essentially the same characters like the same actors depicted in the comic but in a modern day setting and everything's been modernized but I really really loved the first volume and I also really loved what they've done in terms of introducing elements of the TV show that are only present in the later seasons and bringing them to the beginning of the story and integrating them. So this one is volume three. Thank you so much. I love the art style in this. I just want to I'll show you guys one of the art pages at the back which are a little bit different but just there's spike and drew and i just love the like reimagined modernized art it gives me life guys we're only 11 minutes into filming we're two parcels down and my leg is already going numb send help next up we have this one which i like to try and tear the strip off in one because it's really satisfying but it never happens it never works out for me so this one is Night Chaser by Amanda Boucher. Honestly, when I put this one on my wish list, I anticipated that I'd be a little bit further on with Amanda Boucher's other series, but oh well. This one is from Jamie, who sent me the drunk chocolate. Thank you, Jamie. It's open, happy birthday. Oh, it's open refers to my wish list. <laughs> happy birthday, I hope you have an amazing day from Jamie. Thank you so much, Jamie. So I interviewed Amanda Boucher in February. I read her first book, which is Promise of Fire, the first book in the King Killer Chronicles. Really, really loved it. Thought by this point in the year I would be done with the series. I still haven't continued and added Night Chaser to my TBR. And the other one that she has, the one that I've read, is like a high fantasy romance inspired by ancient Greece. This one is a sci-fi fantasy. I believe when she described it, it's more of like a fantasy story but in a sci-fi world. I haven't looked too much into this one because when I'm buying something based on the author, I don't really look at the synopsis of things. But this one follows a woman called Tess Bailey and her band of merry thieves who are on the run because the most powerful ruler in the universe wants them dead and it's a fantasy romance that's all i need to know thank you so much jamie i'm sure i'm gonna love this one i also love amanda boucher's uk covers as well you know it's a bad day when even these ones don't tear straight so this one is from harriet thank you so much harriet another one of my patrons happy birthday hope you have a great day i hope you do too my lovely but this one is angel volume two which makes me believe that angel volume one will be in here somewhere and this one is the angel version of the buffy spin-off so in that first volume of buffy a lot of characters that aren't present until much later in the show are in that but angel 
Bible only turns up in the corner of one frame. And I have been meaning to continue on with the Buffy series. However, I only have volume one and two of the comic. And the reading order says that you should go to Angel volume one after Buffy volume one. So I've been holding off. Thank you so much to Harriet for this. I'm sure, are they the same people? It's different people working on Angel. And while I do really enjoy Angel, I don't love it anywhere near as much as Buffy. And I think it does go quite downhill like the later you get into it and how Joss Whedon just butchered my favourite character ever's storyline. But I hope I like this. I hope I like the series and I will read it anyway just so that I can progress with Buffy and have like the full experience. Do we have? Oh no, we won't. I was gonna say, do we have Cordelia uh, in here? But I don't think we will because Cordelia is in the Buffy comics for now because she started off in the Buffy show. We do have Spike, Fred and Gun though. This one feels like a chunky one. This is from Ash. It says, thank you for creating a space for all those patrons to meet. I'm truly loving my new friends. Gift two is not chocolates, but a white orange cover. Six letter title. It wouldn't allow a gift option. I'm really intrigued to find out what the other thing that Ash has got me is. But this one is, oh my God, this is Black Sunshine by... Karina Halley. I know nothing about this, but Madison from Princess of Paperback sent me a message on Twitter and said that I have to read this. And Madison has excellent taste in fantasy romance. So I was like, yeah, I do. But I just checked, this wasn't actually on my wish list. So Ash sent me this, not knowing that I actually wanted this. So thank you so much. I'm really excited because it's been endorsed by Madison. So the main character is 20 and all she wants to do is graduate from Berkeley with flying colors and maybe catch the eye of a hot musician. But a week before her birthday, she's kidnapped by the brooding and dangerous stranger with cold eyes and a lethal touch. So I'm guessing he's a vampire. Absalon Starvig isn't your average criminal though. He's a centuries old vampire who's caught between wanting to kill Lenore and wanting to save her. And apparently the main character's a vampire as well and she doesn't know it yet. That, that's all I need to know. I didn't even need to know that. Madison told me to read it, so I'm gonna. And thank you so much to Ash for sending this one to me. A lot of my patrons were also complaining because I didn't have much on my wish list because there wasn't much that I like desperately needed. So I did give them permission to just send me stuff that they think I'm gonna like. So I'm really excited to see what we've got. This one is from Linda. Oh my god, I love Linda so much. Hope you like this, Becca, from Linda. Thanks, Linda. Linda's honestly just the best. She does the most and I adore her. But this one is Blood Fever by Karen Marie Moaning, which is the second book in the Fever series. I read the first book earlier this year. I think I gave it three stars but you guys told me when I was going to be reading that book that the series doesn't start off that strong but it gets really good and considering I went into it with low expectations because of that I did really enjoy it and I think it has a whole ton of potential. So this is like a low fantasy fantasy romance paranormal romance series although there isn't really any romance at all in the first one but we're following a young woman called Mac whose sister went to study abroad in Ireland where she was murdered murdered and the police have just dropped the case because they can't find any leads. So Mac takes it upon herself to go to Ireland and see if she can find out what happened to her sister and while she's there she stumbles across the Fae underworld. She also um, finds a bookstore called is it Barron's Books and Baubles which is run by Jericho Barron who I'm assuming is going to be the love interest in this series. Nothing's happened so, like there's no romance in book one but I'm really excited for the romance to kick in and I'm really excited to continue so thank you so much Linda. I have to say we've got a nice stack of romance here so far. Can you tell that I'm thirsty like all the time? I do read a lot of epic and high fantasy as well I swear like you guys know I do but my patrons know I'm thirsty. <laughs> Next up we have one that is gift wrap. On a completely boring note I'm glad that my recycling bins go out this weekend because like I'm gonna have a lot of cardboard. Da, 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 da. Looks like a graphic novel. It was this from? I should have read the tag first. Happy birthday, Becca. This may be a little late, but I just wanted to say thank you for all you do, and I hope you have an am amazing birthday from Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. This is a Buffy comic. I've just seen the, the thing. This one, oh, this one's chosen one, so I don't really know what this is, but when I was going through the reading order, apparently you're supposed to read this at a certain point, and it's a collection of like short stories that go alongside the series that have been published into a bind up. Once again, part of the um, Buffy reboot series. So thank you so much, Hannah. I'm gonna get one of the ones from behind me. Oh, this one's like, it's thin, but it's heavy. 
This one has two graphic novels in. And these are from Linda as well. Linda! Thank you, Linda. Woohoo, happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful and amazing day from Linda. And happy, happy birthday. Thanks for all your hard work. This past year would have been terrible without all booktube in general and your channel in particular. Thank you, Linda. But you know you do too much. And I know you don't care. But I keep telling you you do too much. But you really, really do. Oh, so this one is two volumes of Rat Queen. So we have volume six and volume eight. So I'm guessing maybe throw it here for some other this but um can you tell that i just really want to catch up with my graphic novel series i feel like i'm really dragging my feet because i could blast through them and get up to date but i never do and i only ever have one volume on reserve but rat queens is an adult high fantasy graphic novel series that is your classic like swords and sorcery questing type story where we're following four boozy battle maidens for hire who at the start of the series have got themselves or started one bar fight too many and end up thrown into jail and to get their freedom they have to complete quests for the realm so we have like personal storylines and like tangents throughout here but the main thing is that they just like go on quests i love the characters in here there's so much diversity in the series as well and they just fuck shit up and they're so unapologetic but we have tons of queer rap in here and recently where i'm up to which i think have i just read volume four they've just added a trans character to the main cast as well love this so much it's hilarious i adore the characters thank you so much Liz. So I just took a quick filming pause because Curtis was heading out and the door's right there so it would have been loud. And two more things have just arrived to add to this video. Should we, should we do this now or should we? You know what? I need the excitement. Let's see what we've got in these new ones. Okay. Oh, oh, got a couple of things in here. Linda! Linda again! Are you kidding me? Happy birthday, Becca. Hope you have an incredible day from Linda. Linda's bought me a bar of chocolate. I did add quite a few like treats and stuff just if somebody wanted to get me like a little something. Linda. Linda! Stop it! This is this is really cool actually. She got me like a little it's an Amazon gift card, but it's in like a little pop-up thing i can't you don't get the effect now because i ruined it by opening it but like you open the little thing and it delivers you the card that's so cool thank you so much linda stop it and is this going to be from linda again this is like an interesting shaped one. Oh my god oh my god who who's this from i don't even know what this is this is from hannah different hannah i will put hannah's channel down in the description box it says happy birthday hope you're being spoiled rotten from hannah thank you thank you so much what 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 have we got we've got two bars of chocolate i saw that i wanted to try this chocolate for a while steph from steph loves who is apparently influencing this book haul really likes it and it looks cool it's also it's real chunky didn't think it was this chunky but we have almond and honey and just plain milk thank you hannah for those and what book do we have oh this is tall bones by Anna Bailey. It says, in a town full of secrets, it's hard to tell where the truth lies. This is gonna be like a real twisted thriller. When 17 year old Emma leaves her best friend Abigail at a party in the woods, she believes that their lives are just beginning. Many things will happen that night, but Emma will never see her friend again. Abby's disappearance cracks open the facade of the small town of Whistling Ridge, its intimate history of long held grudges and resentment. <laughs> small town politics, we love it. Even when within Abby's family, there are questions to be asked of Noah, the older brother whom Abby betrayed, of Jude, the shiny younger sibling who hides his battle scars of dolly her mother and samuel her father born in thrall to the fire and brimstone preacher religious religious politics who holds the entire town in his grasp then there is rat the outsider whose presence in the town both unsettles and excites those around him anything could happen in whistling ridge this tinderbox of small town rage and all it will take is just one spark the truth of what really happened that night out at the tall bones i'm excited thank you hannah i've literally never heard of this but it's already intrigued me so thank Thank you so much Hannah and the timing on those honestly could it have been any better okay so I'm back on track with the stack I was working on my legs got numb again the worst thing about sitting on the floor I need like a comfy armchair to film in got another graphic novel this one does not have a gift note in it oh no it does it's wedged into the book this one's from Linda <laughs> not even kidding i'm not even kidding at this point happy birthday becca so happy you added these to your wish list so i could actually buy you a so i could actually buy you a birthday present are you kidding me linda it's surrounded by 
the presidential window right now. Um, oh, this one, out. <laughs> this one's Rat Queens Volume 7. Thank you very much, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Ooh, normal kind of sized book. This one's from, I nearly said this one's from Becca, but that's my name. <laughs> Those are Stacey. Hey, happy birthday, Becca. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. And this one is... Oh, Guild by Raven Kennedy. I believe that this one is a Greek myth retelling indie fantasy romance. And I think it's Midas. I read the synopsis of this one ages ago and added it to my wish list because like fantasy romance. Don't know what this is that I'm doing. But this one is says I'm just gonna read the synopsis, it's super short. Gold, gold floors, gold walls, gold furniture gold clothes. In King Midas's castle built at the top of the frozen mountains, everything is made of gold, even me. The myth of King Midas reimagined shows the dark side of greed through the eyes of the woman he gold touched. I'm sold. Thank you, Stacey. This one is from Beth. Thank you very much, Beth. Happy birthday, Becca. I've had so much fun being a part of your Patreon and chatting with you and the little community you've created. So here's a little thank you gift. I hope you enjoy. Love from Beth. Beth is wonderful, honestly. Beth, I love you. And this one is Rat Queens Volume 5, The Colossal Magic Nothing. Once again, don't need to give you a synopsis for this one because I've already done that. But thank you so much, Beth. This one, oh, kind of light, I think. I'm used to um, having the indies, which are real heavy. If it doesn't put my back out lifting a book, then I'm a little shocked. This one's from Michael. I bought it this early, but happy almost maybe birthday. <laughs> Thank you for always making me laugh with your content and being a lovely person. Hope this book isn't as confusing as Truth Witch from Michael. Thank you, Michael. Oh, Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. I've heard amazing things about this. I hate the UK covers of this but the map which i do actually really like so i want to read rebecca roanhouse book didn't know whether to start with this or black sun and i've asked people who've read both and they've said it really doesn't matter which way i go so this is her first published book i think so i thought may as well go with this one but this one is set in like a apocalyptic world where there's like tons of monsters and there's also monster hunters and we are following a main character who's like a really good supernatural monster hunter so it's kind of like paranormal urban fantasy also post-apocalyptic not my usual i mean it still falls into the realms of fantastical so i'm more than happy to read books with this kind of synopsis but it's not one that i would be really excited for unless like with this book i i haven't heard a bad thing about it so i'm real intrigued i really hope i love this it's also shorter than i thought but then thinking about it i think people were saying about how short it was when they were giving it glowing reviews so this one is 285 pages and i'm really excited about this so thank you so much michael this one's from tasmin hi becca just wanted to get you something to say thank you for the epicness that was wakoplathon lots of love from tasmin thank you what's this one Oh, Song of Blood and Stone by El Penelope. This one is a fantasy romance. I came across it in Faro Fab and I've seen this cover before and been really intrigued because it's beautiful and looks very fantasy. Then I found out that it was being recommended as fantasy romance, so I was even more intrigued. But um, I did put this in the books that are on my radar video and some people commented and said that there is a lot of fantasy in here. Like the romance is kind of like a sideline. So this one is about a, let's see if I remember this one is set in a world where there's a veil like a magical veil between two kingdoms and the veil is starting to grow thin so the leader of one of the kingdoms is going to take advantage of that to try and conquer the other one and the main character is an earth singer like that big conqueror guy she just wants to live a quiet life in a village she's been pretty much ostracized and faces a lot of prejudice because she's an earth singer as well as i think some other reasons and she lives in this quiet village and a group of spies come through and I think the romance may be between the main character and one of the spies. But I'm real excited to read this one. I haven't really heard anybody talk about it, but it's absolutely stunning and it has piqued my interest. So thank you so much, Tasmin, for sending me this one. This one's a little bit chunkier. Oh! 
Oh, fancy. Who are these from? These are from Nina. Thank you, Nina. Enjoy your gift as you love Buffy as much as I do. Happy birthday and fun slaying demons. And the other one says, happy birthday. It's going to be a great day. Thank you for all the great videos and sprints. They light up my reading life. Thank you so much, Nina, because Nina has bought me a selection of Gillian chocolates. And what flavors do we have in here? These look interesting. Signature praline, raspberry, caramel pineapple, orange, crunchy praline, almond praline, coffee cardamom, mm. and mocha. Thank you so much. They sound delicious. It's a Belgian master selection. Very fancy. And the book that Nina sent me is the Hellmouth edition. So this is another kind of extra that I think is a tie-in between Buffy and Angel. This is why like extended comic universes really confuse me. I'm quite lucky that I've caught this Buffy reboot real early on because this kind of thing is one of the reasons why I don't read superhero comics like Marvel or DC. I don't love superheroes anyway, even though Buffy kind of is a superhero, but just the confusion of all of these random different things. Thank you so much, Nina. I'm just, I'm so happy I've caught this fandom early enough that I can actually keep track of what's going on. I think this is the last of the real small ones. This one's from Harry. It says, hey, I hope you enjoy the rest of this comic verse. And this one is Angel Angel volume one being human so like I said I need to cross from Buffy to Angel to go back to Buffy and this is the volume I needed to continue so thank you so much Harry. Just gonna flick to the end to the art pages again because the beautiful where's that nice one of Angel I just saw. There he is. There's my boy the original dark brooding vampire. Actually he probably wasn't the original but I see a lot of similarities when I'm watching things like the vampire diaries. A lot of similar plot lines and also Damon and Stefan, Bike and Angel. We seeing, we seeing the comparisons there, cause I am. This one, kinda chunky, kinda boxy. Not having a good day with these strips. Ooh, this one's from Nina. Different Nina to the Nina that gifted me the Hellmouth Buffy. Happy early birthday, Becca. Hope you have a good one. I have no idea what this book is about, but it all looks very interesting. And this is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington or Islington. Still don't know which way to pronounce that. This is another book that was on my radar video. When I look at this book, I immediately think of Sanderson. And the initial synopsis of this reminds me of Elantris. Just the best basic beginning of it because this is this doesn't have a synopsis on it wow this is set in a world where the godlike creature things that they're not gods but they're described as godlike in the synopsis were all killed in this war and the main character has like this gift that the descendants i guess that the gods have he goes to this kind of school where he's trained but his gift is different and it's more like the actual gods and then everybody else who has the gift kind of a complicated fantasy plot line the one that i gave you was actually really bad <laughs> i'm so sorry but yeah it's one of those where like it's kind of complicated and oh my god the text in this it's hard for me to wrap my head around actually like what the actual plot is without the context of reading at least a little bit of it but thank you so much Nina I'm excited to get into this one I just changed my battery because we were running a little bit low but we are down to the final six now but these are the real chunky ones this one's gift wrapped oh Oh, I think we have a bag of Maltesers in here. And these are from Tracy. It says, happy birthday, Becca. Hope you enjoy munching on these from Tracy. Thank you so much. This is like, this is a real big bag of Maltesers, let me tell you. I can't get through the bows. I can't. I need these Maltesers. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're not. They're not mal... These, these, I, oh wow, okay. I thought that I hadn't put these on because I thought it said that they weren't available to be sent on my wish list but it's a massive bag of pick and mix, but just the chocolate ones. I, I, I got a, I got a sample, uh, no. Oh my God. There's something about pick and mix chocolate. Oh my God. It has that real weird taste to it that's not chocolatey. I love it so much. A white mouse. Thank you so much, Tracy. This will give me the energy I need to finish this video. This one's from Mel. It says, happy birthday. Hope you have an amazing day. Thanks for all the great book recommendations. You have completely changed the genre I now read most. Thank you so much. And thank you for this wonderful gift. Honestly, I feel kind of bad for making people change the genre that they 
can read the most of. Because, uh, to, to be fair, I'm mad at myself for how much fantasy romance I need. Oh my god, more snacks. Oh my god. So this is five bars of nougat. What flavour is it? Caramel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Mel. I'm going to be eating this soon, actually, because I, I started to get into nougat again because I was buddy reading Red, White, and Royal Blue with Simon, and he said that the book makes him think that he should eat nougat while he's reading it. So I went and got some nougat, and I was like, oh my god, nougat. So then I put, I put some nougat on my wish list. Thank you so much, Mel. Honestly, I've been working out every day and I'm gonna eat so many sweets now. So many, so, so many sweets. I did this to myself though. I have no one to blame but me for this. Another gift wrapped one. This one is from Hannah. Happy birthday again, Becca. I hope you enjoy the book. Let's have a look what this one is. Oh my God. Learn my lesson by Katie Robert. This one is the second book in the Wicked Villain series. And the Wicked Villain series is a series of erotic BDSM books that are inspired by not necessarily Disney movies, but the Disney stories. So each one follows one of the like normal characters from a Disney story. And it's a romance, but they fall in love with the villain instead. So the first one is Jafar and Jasmine. This one is Hades, Meg and Hercules. But they're all set in this fictional city. Is it called Carver City? maybe but it's like contemporary but it's a fictional city that all reimagined into like contemporary roles so Jafar was a territory boss Hades is the god of the underworld but the underworld is like this massive building where people can do whatever they want so it's like a sex club there's loads of gambling and stuff and Megara is I don't know if I want to say she's his assistant but they already have a little thing going on and this puts Hercules into the mix as well so I'm real excited about this and thank you so much Hannah because because I knew, like I'd heard amazing things about this series before I read the first one. So I knew that it was going to be good. But the smut in this series is so good. Oh, this one has a few in here. And I was actually expecting this. Like I said earlier, I gave my patrons permission to send me some stuff that they just like think I would like. And yeah, I thought it would be, this is from Ash. That's not the first one. That one says, oh, happy birthday. Enjoy book two. Happy birthday, I hope you enjoy. Oh, hey, and here is book three for you. I really hope you don't fucking hate this series. So Ash has been going on for a while about the series of books. I purposely did not put them on my wish list because I had a feeling that Ash would want to be specifically the person that gifted me these. And it's it's smart. Of course it's smart. So I can't remember what these are supposed to be a mix of. One of them's supposed to be The Witcher. So The Longing of Lone Wolves is the first one. Does it say here? The Witcher meets Beauty and the Beast. That's it. So we have The Longing of Lone Wolves. And then I don't know what number two is. Oh, they've got maps. Oh, this is more indie fantasy romance as well, by the way. The Dreams of Broken Things, I think maybe book three. Why don't they have the series list in them? Did they say at the back? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah, so Longing of Lone Wolves is book one. Solace of Sharp Claws is book two. And The Dreams of Broken Things is book three. And they're all by, I'm gonna butcher this, Lana P Pichersik? P Pichersik? That is real bad. Somebody in the comments, please help me out with that. But they're about like fae guardian wolf shifters and it's it's fantasy romance. Let me see if I can, that's quite a wordy synopsis on the back. Oh, they're fae as well. Forgot about that. Humans destroyed this world, the fae rebuilt it. Thousands of years later, humans want it back. So it follows fae guardians who are wolf shifters and their job is to protect the realm from the human enemy. And the love interest is a human. Are they all different guys? Yeah, so this one's about Rush. This one's about Thorn. This one is about Jasper. So I do hope I love these. Ash loves them. And then Bobby, who has a YouTube channel, Bobby Reads, and also is in my Discord, also really loves this series. So I'm expecting great things. Thank you so much, Ash. You threw me a curveball when you sent me the vampire book because I thought these would come in, but you've done too much as usual. Well, thank you so much. And I hope I do really love them. I'm a little bit nervous now because the last series that Bobby said I would love, I didn't love too much. I think I gave the first book two stars, but we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Okay, so the two that I've saved for last 
list. I saved them because I think I know who they're from. So we have two big ones, and I think one's from Bobby, and one is from Claire. So I don't know which one's which, and I'm not sure what Bobby sent me, aside from I think she sent me the sequel to that book that I didn't like. And Claire has sent me a box of wild cards based on that books that are on my radar video, I think. So we'll have a little look, see what we've got. This one's from Bobby, I think, because we have a box of hazelnut coffee creamer. Thank you. I was gonna say thank you, Bobby. I should probably check first. Yeah, they're from Bobby, and apparently the gift note's quite insulting, so let's have a look. My favorite creamer, enjoy. That's for the creamer. Happy birthday, twat waffle. Here we go. Hopefully you like this one more than the first book. Ebook has better formatting, just saying, from Bobby. Yeah, I had a problem with the formatting in these books. Not That's not why I rated it down, it's just the format is really weird. But this is the second book in the Fae Chronicles, by by Amelia Hutchins, which are real smutty fae stories. So we have a woman who's a witch and she really hates the fae because she saw them murder her family um, when she was quite young. But the prince of the fae is engaged to the light fae princess and he employs the main character to be a body double because the main character has these powers where she can like, not shape shift, but change how she looks with like illusions. So he has her be a body double because they believe that there's going to be assassination attempts on the slight fake princess and then it's a romance between those two and wow yeah like the formatting in these is so bad the thing that i had a problem with every line break is actually a paragraph break and i just found it to be really disruptive but look like you can barely read the synopsis on this but um yeah this is a sequel it was like remotely entertaining i will say not the best written books at all the plot is all over the place but i'm happy to have fun with this and even though i gave the first book two stars for some reason i have a very big interest in this sequel. Fingers crossed it goes a little better for me this time. And the final one we have for this video I think is going to be from Claire who is another wonderful incredibly supportive human who just does way too much, way more than myself and quite a few other booktubers that Claire loves deserves. We don't deserve you, Claire. But um, let's see what's in here because as I said, it's a wild card box. Oh, we have more teasers. So there are some more teasers in here after all. It makes sense now actually because when I thought that was more teasers, I was like, I've never seen a bag of more teasers this big and we have quite a bit of a size difference in here as you can see. Ooh, ooh, she got me the first two books. Oh my God, thank you, Claire. This says, happy birthday, Becca, wishing you a fantastic day. Had to go with this as I'm sure you will love it. Have a cracking time. Claire sent me a message because there was absolutely nothing left on my wish list and asked me what books from that radar video were on my wish list so that she could send me something that wasn't on my wish list. And she sent me Fiery Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. I've been wanting to read from Robert Jackson Bennett for a while. He also has another series, the first book being City of Stairs, which I'm also interested in. But when I'm exploring a new author, I tend to like pick a starting point and then decide if I want to continue. So I decided that Foundry Side would be my starting point and these UK covers, I like them. I like them a lot, also floppy paper bags. But um, how big is this one? Cause I thought this was quite a short book. 500 pages and this one, is actually less pages than the second one, but the print is much bigger. So Foundry Side is about a young girl who is a thief and her next target is this warehouse that contains this big powerful artifact. Oh, this has a different synopsis to the Goodreads one, but she accepts a lucrative job to steal this ancient artifact. And the artifact is very powerful, so she steals it, but then finds herself being hunted down by the people who have told her to steal it. Because I think it has something to do with not automatons, but like um, it will help the people gain total control of the city if they have this artifact. Heard amazing things about Robert Jackson Bennett as well and I really truly do hope that I love these so thank you so much Claire for sending me these. Okay so I have four more boxes to open for you guys. I think I know what's in all of them or at least like the type of thing that's in all of them and I think that these are from Brandy, Bobby, Gavin and possibly Jade but I'm not sure on that last one. So we'll start with the Amazon ones which are books. I think that this one's from Bobby. Yes I did open the end just to see if it was what Bobby had sent me because I don't know why she sent me more. Thank you so much Bobby. She said she was sending me three books in a series that has four books and the fourth book is 
isn't out yet. So we played a little guessing game during my Patreon live show and she has sent me Pestilence, Famine and War by Laura Thalassa. These are the four books in the Horseman series. I don't actually know what the series is called. Oh, The Four Horsemen. So the last book will be Death and I think it's out this year. So this is a fantasy romance series where the four horsemen of the apocalypse come down to earth to essentially end the world and while they are there they end up falling in love with human i'm assuming women so the books are named after the horsemen of the apocalypse the first one follows pestilence the second one follows war and the third one follows famine and i do think that i actually said that war and famine went the other way around before but it is pestilence first then war and then famine so thank you so much bobby for these i'm about to finish the bargain series this month so i'm excited to dive into these ones we then have this one from brandy thank you so much brandy i kind of i have a vague idea what's in here brandy said that she would like this to be considered for the next catch up book club pick oh it's gift wrapped as well and it says hello this is a book happy birthday from brandy and this one is oh the black prison by brent weeks this is the first book in the what's it called what's this series called the Lightbringer series it's an adult epic fantasy and the magic in this one surrounds light i can't remember what the actual synopsis of the book is i just know this book based on his magic system there is a man in here who is the prison which is like the most powerful man in the world however he knows that he's not going to live forever so when he gets word of a bastard son that lives in a faraway kingdom he must decide how much he's willing to pay to protect a secret secret that could tear his world apart and sorry i'm filming this with natural lighting and these sun just got really bright and completely washed me out but thank you brandy for this one and then these two i think that this one is from gavin because he said that there was a parcel coming for me from etsy that wouldn't have a gift note in it and i opened this because i thought it was my cold beauty order i'm, I'm very confused because i opened it up and there's just lots of bits of wood in here i'm gonna assemble this at a later date i'm not doing it right now but i have a sheet of instructions that say that this is a book nook and I need to assemble it. So it comes with all of these like laser cut pieces and I'm gonna be putting this together later today. So I will vlog the experience and you guys can see what it looks like in my weekly vlog. But thank you so much, Gavin. I wanted one of these for quite some time and I'm really excited to see what it looks like when I put it together. And the last parcel I have is a Lush parcel, which I'm thinking might be from Jade, but it might not. So we'll have a look. And oh my God, no, this is from Steph. Thank you so much. Steph, it says to my beautiful goblin queen, I hope you have the most lush birthday, babe. Love you a whole heckin' ton, Steph. Thank you so much, Steph. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, ooh. It's one of the, like, gift boxes. Ooh, and in the bottom as well, we have a pot of the cookie dough lip scrubs, which is one of my favourites. Thank you so much, Steph. I love this so much. I have the body scrub as well. That tastes good. So, the type of gift box this is says bath art. So, I'm actually really tree and i've just spilled bath bomb dust all over myself but that's pretty standard oh it smells good oh my god we have so there's two bath bombs in here i think the first one it looks like a dragon's egg which is one of my favorite bath bombs from lush it is the one that like crackles in the bath and the second one is one of my favorites based on the colors of it and how pretty it is in the bath and that one is the intergalactic bath bomb which is like a really fresh smelling one and thank you so much steph i've actually just run out of bath bombs and i was hoping in for a little bit of a birthday replenish so thank you so much for these okay so i'm not even kidding i was just tidying up from the boxes that i've just opened when another one arrived this one is quite big but not very heavy so let's crack her open i don't think i've ordered anything from amazon what should just be me ordering things oh my god these are from cody thank you so much happy birthday beautiful hope you have the best chill day from cody enjoy your gift from cody let's see what we've got in here we have two little boxes and this little packet so let's see oh my god oh my god so first up she got me another bar of tony's chocoloni i have actually tried that now and it's really nice so thank you and then these two we have oh my god <gasps> This is beautiful. Cody knows me. Cody gets what I like because she sent me this absolutely 
stunning mug. It's like, oh my god, it's even blue and yellow. So it matches my library. I love this. Thank you. And then the final thing, it does say what it is on the box, but let's have a look inside. This is a little planter but it says petty the hedgehog planter oh my god she's so cute oh my god look at that she's beautiful thank you so much Cody. i am like obsessed with these thank you so much to everyone who has sent me something in this video as usual i'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed thank you guys for making my birthday a little bit more special and giving me a whole ton more reading material to work my way through so i want to see if i can show you guys some of these stacks the book stack has now got quite tall but we have oh this is heavy i've never held so many graphic novels at once so we got all these graphic novels this is nearly this is like a third of the size of my total graphic novel collection thank you so much for these i'm so excited to blast my way through buffy and also catch up with rat queens because it's been slow progress with me and rat queens i just need to get up to date already and then we also have the snacks so we have crema Maltesers, an epic bag of pick and mix, which I'm gonna eat more of when I'm done with this video. These that I've nearly finished. Massive pack of nougat, a box of chocolate, four bars of chocolate, and a gift card from Linda. And then the books, can I even hold the books? Let's have a little look. Put the hardback from Hannah on the bottom, which is giving me a bit of leverage, but these are gonna be heavy because a lot of them are indie. Wait here. Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> These are so heavy there at the bottom. Oh my god. So thank you so much to everybody who has gifted me a book of this stack. I am so appreciative for all of you. Thank you so so much. And this has given I've been in a reading slump for quite some time and now I just want to go devour a whole ton of books. So thank you for that little bit of reading mojo boost as well. But let me know down in the comments whether you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. Thank you guys so much. Not only have you gifted me something on this stack, thank you for being here. This is, and we're coming up to my fourth booktube birthday now. Thank you for being here, for watching my content, liking, commenting if you do. I'm sorry that I don't get to my comments. I have a little bit of social anxiety regarding comments. It's like just online responses sometimes feel really overwhelming but i do read all of your comments and i truly appreciate them i appreciate you guys so much this community has done so much for me and i'm so grateful i'm so so grateful i know i'm getting real deep in my feels but aside from that guys please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you head into my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish candle website the instagram for that and a 10 percent off discount code but that is it from me today. Thank you so so much. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows. With guns hidden under our petty coats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.